Hey y'all. I uh, first want to say thanks to everyone that commented and uh, supported the last vlog that I did. Um, I've not been on Facebook or social media a lot. Um, and so that's why I didn't really reply to anybody, but I have seen all the comments um, and all the love and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. Um, so today is election day and you know a lot of people are really anxious uh, i've talked about choices uh, in my last video and uh you know a lot of folks got some big choices to make today and we'll see what happens there uh, hopefully nobody is too worried right now um, we've got a lot going on in this world and hopefully this isn't weighing too heavily on any one of y'all but there, uh, there's something that I've really been thinking about a lot lately. It uh, comes from a lot of stuff that's in my life uh, that I've been, uh, you know, just having going on. Um, folks that are, you know, doing things in my life and whatnot. And it's kind of going to be, in thinking about how to talk about it, I kind of settled on a way that I kind of want to stem or not necessarily stem the vlogs will come as the stem but I want to root the uh, the conversation around songs um, you know music is very powerful for a lot of us there's a lot of things that music can express that we may not be able to express and you know we try to express a lot in text messages and oftentimes <laughs> that is never expressed correctly but you know in conversations and phone calls all of that stuff um it's sometimes it's hard to express how we're feeling what we're thinking just where we're at in our day-to-day -day lives and so uh, i want to focus on some songs and really kind of dive deep into there uh, this first song uh for for the vlog for this week uh, is tell the people by brett james um, it's a song that I found on Spotify by chance, um, but it is a song to me that really speaks to kind of how we overcome things that happen in our lives when, you know, maybe somebody in our life is making a choice that is opposite of what we're making, or maybe something happens and you've been hurt by you know something that you've done or the actions of others you know there's a lot of stuff in our lives that can be fixed by telling the people around us that we love them and a lot of times that's really hard to do uh, you know sometimes it's really hard to tell another friend that you love them in a way that doesn't sound weird um, and I think that's part of our society. I think that's part of the way in which we like to honestly sexualize love. There, you know, it can't just be romantic, or it, it it can't it can only be romantic when we say the word "I love you." Uh, a lot of the times in our society, there there's not this um, notion. We don't immediately think of this brotherly sisterly love that. You know, Jesus had for all the people that God has for all of us as a father or mother or a parental figure, a guiding figure in our lives. And so I think that being able to claim that and tell the people around us that we love them in a healthy way, in a way in which can bring us closer in our relationships with them is something that's really important, especially on this election day where the whole rhetoric is one against another. I mean, that is the entire rhetoric of everything that we're hearing today is who's going to win, which side is going to prevail, whatever it may be, probably depends on which news outlet or Facebook post you're reading. And so this song to me really uh, embodies a lot of that. So I want to play the song 
I'm going to uh, do the shared screen thing because I'm recording this on Zoom. Uh, and I invite you just to sit and listen to lyrics, think about what it's saying, um, and just see what comes to mind. <laughs> To the river Jordan Stepped in the water Fell down on my knees I saw the sweetest Face in my reflection Heard her whisper Softly to me Tell the people you love That you love them Don't let Get in your way So they know there ain't no one above Tell the people each and every day Life is long and living ain't easy It's a crime, it's a wild song that has really been um, kind of stuck in my head around a lot of the things that are going on in this world today is to be able to tell the people that I do love that I love them and it doesn't just uh, you know apply to the people that are right there in front of you it's it's really something that you can you know you can tell God that you love God you you can tell you can speak with Jesus. You you can call on the Holy Spirit to say what you love. These are all things that you can do. But you can also, you know, talk to people that are at a distance that you haven't to talk to in a while and still tell them that you love them. You know, there's people in my life that I don't talk to anymore for certain reasons. I still love them. They may not believe that statement. They probably will never watch this video, but they may not believe that statement if I 
just texted them right now or gave them a call and said, hey, I realize that we're in a disagreement that we're not exactly friends right now, but I still love you. I mean, we're called to love our enemies. And that is one of the hardest things that we can ever do, especially in today's world of so much division, where the choices that we make, the allegiances that we have dictate where we end up, who we say, who we can say that we love, but that's not the way it needs to be. That's not the way it should be. It should be that we can tell anyone and everyone that we love them. I mean, Proverbs 10 tells us that hate brings strife, love heals. I mean, it is it is something that we need to work on to be able to get past all the wrongs. The, lo- the love heals. The love covers all the wrongs that happens. No matter how much hate there is, the love can get past it. So to be able to sit there and tell someone that may hate you that you still love them, not only is incredibly hard, because it's one, incredibly hard to mean it if you know how that person feels about you or how you feel about that person, but it's also incredibly hard to actually continue to love that person because that's that's what we need to do. And, you know, again, I mean, there there's people in my life who I could say that to, and they would look at me like I had two heads. They, they, they wouldn't believe it. And that's okay. Those, those folks can believe it. And anybody that I say it to can choose whether or not to believe it. But I know that in my heart, the way that I feel, I do love those people. And yes, Maybe I do not necessarily like them at this point in time, but if they needed me to, I would still probably drop everything within reason and help them out because that's what loving somebody is, is being able to be available to that person and to be able to sit and listen and to still talk to them if they need you to. And if they need space, to be able to give them space. That's loving someone too. But remember that you can tell people that you love them. You can tell them all of these things. Because telling people that you just hate them, that you just dislike them, that you can't stand them, it, it's not... You may need to say those feelings and that's okay, but you also need to recognize that you need to love them too because that's the hard part. And we're not necessarily called to just do the easy things. That that doesn't get past all the wrongs. It's a lot of the hard work to bridge those gaps that us in this world need to work on. And so I hope that this song today inspires you to maybe tell someone that you haven't in a while that you love them. Especially on this election day, maybe go find someone who thinks politically different than you and tell them that you love them. Because that today may be the hardest thing that you could do is love someone that's on the other side of the aisle. So that's, that's what I want to leave you with today is don't forget to tell the people that you love that you love them.